you know I didn't want to start this video off with a plumbing network error. Like seriously, I just I just want to record me. No, I want to record the game. All right, greetings, entities and guardians. My name is Hyper Himes, and welcome back to Cooker Run Kingdom. I really didn't have a plan for this video, but I didn't know what I I knew what my next video was going to be, but I didn't want a video to be like a back to back. Uh, you know. Yeah, I'll, I'll just say right now, the next video is going to be another, uh, me talking about, like, a cookie stats in specific, but, surprisingly, it's not going to be about the new cookie, not about, uh, I keep forgetting her name, Financer. <sighs> it's not going to be about Financer, but the next video is going to be about, about another cookie, who people strongly suggest that I put on my team. But right now, this video is about me trying to get more upgrades and just, like, doing stuff around the kingdom, but... Before I even do that, if you want to leave comments down in the comment section for me to read on video, then feel free to do, do that, please. Like, I'm just saying this right now. If it's like a random question, a comment, uh, a fact, something about me, something about the game, something completely random, then feel free to do so because I absolutely love like interacting with each and every single one of you. Which, by the way, we're actually nearly done with the comments from the uh, first time on the uh, In The Cookie Alliance video. So I think we'll just get all those done so I can move on to the next comment. There's three more. One comes from IDK who says, Replace the horn with the monocle. Okay, thank you for the advice. Uh, is that for the Alliance or in general? But that might be for the Alliance. I don't know. Game Wisdom Gaming says, You know that you can play Cookie Alliance on two times time, uh, two point times the speed, right? Yes, I did know that, but I just wanted to play it on normal speed because I wanted to get the full experience of it just from like a normal speed. I know I could have sped it up, but I felt like that would have been like not as exciting because everything would have been too fast paced and like not focusable. Of course, now that I do it, I'm definitely going to put it on two point times, 2.5 times speed when I do it by myself, but yeah. And lastly, we have a comment from Herb Cookie who says, You're literally rich in the game, but would never play the Cookie Alliance. The dude, dude, Herb, Herb, with that plubbing silent H, you should know as well as I do that being rich does not equal to finishing the game. Time does not equal money in this game mode. Because, yeah, I got coins, I got crystals, and I got meat, but that doesn't mean I was quick enough to get through the entirety of stages, wor worlds 1 through 10. That's different. But with that being said, we actually got through all those comments, and now the rest of the comments I'm going to be, be reading is from upgrading my team because World 11 sucks, apparently. And the first comment just straight up says, I'm looking forward to 1127. Thank you so much, mister. Thank you for the complimentary words. And that's from Caked Cluckles. What a plumbing name. Uh, but yeah. By the way, storage stuff in here. There's so much things in storage that... Can I boost this? It's going to be 5,000. <sighs> Love it. Just once, though. Not anymore. Can't, can't afford to just dump out all my crystals on other things. But one thing I mainly wanted to do in this video was I wanted to go to the gacha, and I wanted to use a draw 100 on these treasures, because I'm pretty sure upgrading some treasures that I might use for the team, especially in the world exploration mode for the team that I currently use, should help me a ton. Seriously, it should. So we need to get this done. So, let us draw all. That's right. So we could get some epic treasures, we can get some rare ones, and we can get some common ones for all I know. But all I know is that this is going to take a while. So while I do that, I'm going to read more of these comments. From Boop, they say, you should use solid almonds on your front uh, frontliners so they won't die pretty quick. And also, I recommend using Parfait as well because there will be a lot of poison that can damage your team. And Parfait will most likely heal your team and grant debuff resistance for, 40 per for plus 40% to all of your allies. And also decreases poison damage or any other debuffs that can improve your team's survivability. And by the way, old Pilgrim Scroll, that's what we need. And they also said, edit. When you reach 1123 and 1127, uh, I would suggest you use Sword of Shark because he ignores its defense and damage resist to enemies. Interesting, that definitely could help. And it should help, so I should definitely uh, try using Sword of Shark as well. And I think, I have an idea for what the team I should try and go into uh, World 11 with. I think, though. Also, Elgrim's Pilgr like Elder Pilgrim's Torch, that is very good. Get some more of these squishy jelly watches. Nice. I need more of those just to uh, increase. No, decrease my cooldown. I don't want my cooldown to increase. Actually, it might. No, I think I'm saying that right. Decreasing a cooldown means that it would go faster, right? Or increasing my. Does. Would it mean that? Or does it mean like. Oh, increasing cooldown, that means. Uh, hold on, let me try and straighten this a little bit more just to uh, centralize it. Uh, does. Increasing it means like. Oh, it cools down faster. Uh, I'm pretty sure the term is still increasing though, so what am I saying? Uh, there's another comment from Dang Fuang An. 
Hopefully I'm not butchering that name, but they say, There are a few hard stages in episode 11. For uh, those, I recommend you not use Sea Fairy or Frost Queen since the main enemies are immune to stun and freeze. Also, Sea Fairy is better with area damage and not single targets. For single bo uh, targets and bosses, Sorbet is your best option. So, okay, so... Frost... No, no, no. Uh, sea Fairy is better for a whole wave of people, but Sorbet Shark is better for singular targets. Okay, maybe that might help me in the future. I think I'm gonna do a couple more of these before I just, like, end up, like, just stopping, because my gosh, this is gonna take forever. Uh, but at least I get to read more of the comments and just respond to more stuff while I do it, because this is honestly a nice time. It's pretty relaxing. And also, I really just want to press, like, the skip button and just, like, go down the whole line of, like, all the plebbing treasures that I've gotten. Even if it's a bunch of comments or stuff like that, it's gonna be a lot. But we all have, we have another comment from that by Pumpkin who says my arena team is Clotted Cream, Sea Fairy, Pure Vanilla, Caramel Arrow, and Frost Queen. They're a pretty good team. P.S. Your videos are so awesome. Thank you so much. You're an awesome person, that by Pumpkin. And okay, Clotted Cream, Sea Fairy, Pure Vanilla, Caramel Arrow, and Frost Queen. That seems like an overpowered team. Like the only epic in that is clubbing, uh, yeah, Caramel Arrow, and then you have two legendaries, an ancient, and a super epic. So that definitely seems like a busted team, so I definitely should try and use that for, uh, Arena. But hey, I'm just trying to get used to, uh, using other cookies, you know? Oh, okay, that lagged for some reason. But anyway, let's read, I guess, two more comments before I actually just skip this and see all the rewards in the end. Uh, Valentine Chaco says, My current Arena team is Caramel Arrow, Dark Cow, no, uh, Cacao, Sea Fairy, Sorbet, and Cotton, with the treasure being Jelly Watch, Scroll, and Feather. Caramel is basically destroying everyone in the arena. The meta shifts a lot, so it'll be difficult to keep up. And for the cookies, you should upgrade is the team you're currently using, especially Cotton, since she's very good. She was actually the first epic cookie I maxed out. Interesting. Oh, by the way, we got a Sugar Salon Shining Feather. That's neato. A Gatekeeper Ghost Horn. And yeah. A bunch more things. In which, let's read, I guess, one more comment. Ooh, hey! Blind Healer Staff. I can now upgrade that. That's good. Uh, well, let's read one more comment from Epic Gamer, who says, Hi, Hyperheims. Thank you, and I'm happy for you to make it to Chapter 11. But when you get to 1127, use a team that do not die. <laughs> and by the way, be careful on 1123. Is that a spoiler? I don't know. There's this thing something about Strawberry and Wizard. So I'm not going to read the rest of that. But still, thank you so much for leaving your comment. Uh, they just said something about- I- I literally just stopped when it said the names of cookies, cause try not to leave spoilers of, like, what's gonna happen in the, uh, future of the story, cause I just wanna make sure that I kinda figure out everything all for myself. Uh, but luckily I didn't get spoiled by it, I just- I just know it just has something to do with Strawberry and Wizard. Will I know for sure? I don't know. But, okay, let's do three more, then we'll skip. One, Squishy Jelly Wash, that's good. Ghost Ice Cream, cool. And Squishy Jelly Wash, nice! It's good that I can upgrade that again. So let's just skip the rest. And see what we got. Uh, that's a lot. I think compared to the last time that I did 100 treasure draws. That's a lot more epics than what I've gotten like the last time. Like I even gotten four of these clubbing uh, blue ones. That's pretty good. I wish I'd gotten more of the scroll though. Oh, unfortunately I only got like one of those. But yeah whatever. I got a ton of sides. A ton of those candies. Little paper things. And down here I got a bunch of the trophies. A bunch of the watches. That's really good. Uh, literally goes up to 20. Can I upgrade that two times? Because it goes up to 9 and then, like, maybe I can upgrade to, like, 10. And also, have, like, if it upgraded it would not... Oh, I didn't even get to read the rest of that, but I'm hoping that I got a lot more, though. So, like, let's say, for example, I go to cookies, then I go to my treasures. Go up to my great... Oh, wait, that's costumes. I mean my treasures. Uh, I can't upgrade the scroll, which is unfortunate. However, the jelly watch, I can upgrade this to level 10. Which is increasing my cooldown to 22.6%. And I can upgrade- Yeah, I can upgrade one more time. Which increases the cooldown to a whopping plumbing 23. No, 24%. That is great. And also, I can increase the power of the ghost horn. What is it? Two times, I think. Awesome. So it increases, uh, yeah, increases defense for all cookies from 41 to 42%. So we can do it one more time, it increases the fence to 44%. That is going to help us a plebbing ton. Now, I didn't even get any treasure for the slingshot, which I think is kind of sad. But, whatevs. I guess it's fine. Uh, but, I've been told to also use, what was it, the feather treasure? Was it this one? Sugar Swan's Shining Feather. What does this even do? Revives the first fallen cookie with 20%. Oh, that actually might be good. Well, I think I can only upgrade it once, so let's uh, just do that once. And yeah, oh, I can upgrade two times. 
Okay, so now it revives the first fallen cookie with a 30... That's a big... 34.6%? If I upgrade it a couple more times, I can get up to over 50. That's definitely gonna be helpful. Alright. I know what I'm gonna do next in this video. But first, let me read a comment from this AJ... This, no, AJ, what AJ? This AU of Reality who says, For Arena, I use Moon Rabbit, Sorbet Shark, Squid Ink, Licorice, and Con, all at level 70 and max promotion. That... Oh my gosh, that's so- that's- just the power on that just ruptured through my throat. Also, keep doing this question of the day in your kingdom vids the way I actually know what to comment anytime. Alright, sure. Well, here's the question of the day. If you wanted a cookie to have a magic candy, just like how there was a recent update in this game that gave cookies magic candy, who would you give a magic candy to? And here's the thing, you can only select one. And if you want to select one, a cookie, uh, a ra rarity I would recommend is probably Epic, because there's a wide variety of Epic cookies. But you choose what you want. I would be interested in seeing, like, what ma uh, which cookie you would want to have a magic candy, and what t type of ideas you want. Like, give them. But, okay, you need 50. So, you know what? We're going to give you 50. I know that seems like a lot, but you know what? Cotton cookie has proved so well to me. That I'm gonna give you plebbing 50 soul stones, and that's gonna cost me 5,000 buckaroos. But you know what? It's worth it, especially when it comes to Cotton Cookie helping the team out. So let's boost you up, promote you, and boost you up and make you so much better. That is wonderful. That's something I really want to upgrade and like just help because. Extra HP, extra attack, extra defense, and extra just power in general. That's going to help us in the long run for sure. Now, I also do want to check in specifically the arena. Does there happen to be... No, there is Hollyberry though, so maybe I should scoop up one of those. Yeah, plug it. I would scoop up one. Is it a waste of metal? I don't know. I have 12,000, so I don't know. But, uh, anyway. In fact, that actually does remind me what I should do. So, I should go over here. And check out this Rainbow Pearl Market. Give me that one for Sea Fairy, baby. There we go, nice. So I have an extra one of those, so whenever I try and promote her in the future, it will be better. And also, what I also intend to do is because, uh, what, Sorbet Shark? I'm literally gonna put two promotions on Sorbet Shark. What does that mean? Well, let's go over to, uh, my stomach is growling. Probably wants food. So, let's go over here, and, uh, let's go over to Sorbet Shark. Let's go over to uh, that and give uh, approximately, I think 50 will be good again. There we go. 50 will be good. So now what I can do, I guess 49 would work because I think I just had an extra soul stone. So now I can go over here. 65,000 power. Now I can promote you once. Gets you to 68,000. Here you go. That's pretty good. And then we can promote them, promote them again. To plumbing 71,000. Oh my lord, this is gonna be better. This is gonna be good. We're making a good team. We're making a good team. Oh. Good. This is fantastic. We're getting big damage. Alright. This is good. We're making a team. Alright. Let's read some other comments, by the way, since I haven't read one in a little bit. Esmond Star says, The team I would re recommend for episode 11 right now is Dark Cacao, Eclair, Sea Fairy, Cotton, and Parfait Cookie, which you should upgrade her and put five CD chocolates, so, uh, C uh, CD chocolates on her because she's meta in PvP because of her debuff resistance and healing. Also, put the Feather Treasure instead of the Gatekeeper Treasure because the Feather will revive the ally and have their skills uh, reset when they're alive. I was thinking of that, but, like, if I have a cookie faint, is that also gonna mean, uh... I lose the stars. Def definitely someone answer me that because I definitely need to know if I faint even with the treasure will I lose the star capabilities of like just doing good. Because I want to make sure I do everything as good as I can. So yeah. I don't think there's anywhere I can like upgrade you without like just waiting. Super sad. But plug it. We did do good progress. We promoted Sorbet Shark. That's grand. And it didn't even show me the same message for Cotton so that's interesting. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna get a good team up and rolling. We're gonna get a very good team up and rolling. I tell you, it is going to be good, and it's gonna be great. Uh, but let's read, like, three more comments, I'd say. Oh, two, one, two of them are lengthy. Uh, one comes from Ruby, who says, Episode 11 ain't bad if you have decent toppings and legendary and ancient cookies. Also, Parfait helps a ton. 
Okay, Parfait Cookie again. Episode, okay, C-L-E-O and C O. okay, C I'll just say C-O-E on go by, who says, Episode 11 was a freaking joke, like what the heck were those monsters, and the mini bosses were like hard. Episode 12 was also hard, but not really hard. I completed 12-1 and 1221 in three hours, and the last stages were the only, were the one who is hard, not because of their strength, but because of that time, that timer. Though now I'm stuck at 1410. C-L-E on go by. Thank you so much for giving me hope. For giving me hope. Maybe you were actually overpowered, but thank you so much for giving me hope that there's... There's a chance for me, baby. There's a chance for me that I can get through this. And the last comment I'll read for the video is Jacob Trevor Della Cruz, who says, I beat World 11 only using full summoner team, and I'm also stuck on the last stage in World 12. By the way, the timer there keeps getting me stuck, and it's very annoying. Also, my team, here's my team, by the way. Crunchy Chip Cookie, who's the tank, Pumpkin Pipe Cookie, who's the support, Licorice Cookie, the damage dealer, or Snow Sugar Cookie, the attack and speed lower and damage dealer, Cotton Cookie, who's the healer and stunner, and Oyster Cookie, who's the support and damage dealer. I swap out Licorice with Snow Sugar Cookie sometimes, because uh, Licorice Cookie dies too fast sometimes. Also, here's the toppings for my team. Crunchy Chip Cookie has full damage resistance, Pumpkin Pie has full damage resistance or full searing raspberry, Licorice full searing raspberry, Snow Sugar full searing raspberry, uh, Cotton full swift chocolate, Oyster full swift chocolate, and the treasures of the Pilgrim Scroll, the Squishy Jelly Watch, and the Sea Stressors Pin Cushion. Interesting. Thank you for the loadout. I'll definitely need to give that an overlook just to see if that can also assist me when trying to think of a good team for trying to get through World 11 and 12. Well, with that being said, I think we did a nice amount of upgrading in this video. I hope we did at least. If we didn't, then I don't know what the plug to do, but for now, if you did enjoy this video, then please be sure to leave a like on it, and also share, share this video with your friends for more kicker running content, and if you enjoy my content in general, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel, and if you haven't yet, or you want to, hit the bell to be notified of whatever I do in the future, and also, I have merchandise available if you want to check it out, but I'm not forcing you to buy anything, I'm just saying there might be something interesting in the shop that I might be interested in. I also have a Discord that you can join in the description, and it's a fun time there, so I hope you do join, and lastly, the cooker run iceberg resurface, let's try and get that video to 100,000 views, we are super close, I tell you, but above all else, I will see you entities and guardians in the next video. Hail the Hypnese.